Hi, and welcome to the last day of my week featuring Loan Phone. Today I'm going for a Halloween card using this stamp set along with the matching dies. I'm also going to use this Loan Phone uh, rectangle dies that has a nice stitching all around. So I'm going to start out by using a card base which is black and today I'm going for a really fun card that has a window but not, not a shaker card. So first of all I am going to create my window here. And you will see that I will end up with a great interactive card, which is lots of fun. So I'm going to cut out uh, the center of uh, the front of my card. Now, as you pass it through your die cutting machine, make sure that uh, you unfold the card so that you don't die cut both uh, the flaps. And now I will end up with a hole in the middle. And I'm going to keep the rest of the black paper, you will see what I will do with it next. Now I am going to use the same rectangle and cut out a white piece and now from the black piece I am just going to use this uh, hillside slope from another um, die set by Lone Phone and I'm going to cut out two identical hillsides. So here are all the pieces ready to go, my card base, a white piece of paper that I'll use as my background, a couple of uh, heels and an acetate. I'm using my Nouveau glue pen going all around that um, border and then I'm going to stick the acetate on the inside of the card. So basically I am turning the front of the card into a window with a black border. I am sticking the acetate carefully and uh, I will make sure that I cut out all the excess, if there is any, with my scissors. Now, in case you can still see the glue coming through, then you can cover it up just like I did by creating a second border. And so this way I am sandwiching the acetate between the card front and the second border that I have cut out. This is not necessary, that's only if uh, you are really bothered by the side of the glue. So now I have a nice card with a window at the front. And uh, I will go ahead and uh, work on uh, the front of the card a little bit more. I'm going to stick one of the slopes at the very bottom. And this fits right inside that border. Now for the back again I'm going to stick another piece of black uh, paper just to make sure that I don't see the um, glue. So that uh, everything is nice and neat. And I have one more slope just like this for the inside of my card, which I am going to use later on. And here is how my card is looking at the moment. Now I am going to work on the white piece, which is going to be the background for my card. So now I am going to create a night sky. And to do so, I am going to use three different uh, colors of Distress Ink. And I am going to show you on screen which colors I am using each time. After finishing all the inking on the background, I made sure that I went all around the edges to get rid of the white uh, there. And now I am going to stick down the heel, so I have another uh, black heel that is identical with uh, the other one that I have already used. And I'm going to stick it at the very bottom of this panel so that I can create my ground. This is where I am going to stick the little dogs later on from the stamp set. And now I'm going to stick this panel on the inside of my card. I just need to make sure that those two heels are uh, one on top of the other. So I'm going to first line it up at the top. And once I'm happy with how they are lined up, I'm just going to close the card. And it's going to stick at the back. So here is how my card is looking up to now. 
This is going to be my card piece. Now all I have to do is to work with my little images so that I can stick them down. I am using my mini misty here so that I can stamp many images at once and uh, if I don't get a good impression I can always uh, stamp again right on top. So I went with uh, one of the dog designs and I am going to stamp this dog three times. So one is now and two more times that I am going to stamp later. I am also going to stamp multiple times the tiny little star as well as the bone. Once I have everything stamped, I'm going to use my copy colors to color everything and then I'm going to use the matching ties to cut them out. So I'm going to put on some uh, Halloween music for you and I'm going to catch you up later when all those elements are ready to assemble my card. And by the magic of uh, video editing, everything is ready now. The truth is that it uh, took me longer than it seems, just because I had to cut out multiple uh, elements, especially the stars and the bones. So I had to pass uh, the dies through my die cutting machine again and again. So now the idea is to stick the dogs inside the card on the background, just like I'm doing here. And I'm sticking everything down with my tape runner. And uh, I'm also going to stick down the moon and the tiny stars. And uh, I am going to also give them the little um, pumpkin full of bones. To stick down the stars, I'm going to use my glue pen. And with my pickup uh, tool, it's easy to manipulate the tiny little pieces. And now this is the fun part. I'm going to stick their costumes on the window, which means that when you open the card, you will see the dogs without costumes. So the first one is going to be a witch, the second one is going to be my superhero, and the third is going to be the mummy. I think this card is so cute. It's just adorable. And um, I am really in love with this idea. And uh, you will see that at the end it's going to match perfectly with the sentiment. There is a sentiment in the stamp set that says no tricks, just treats. So I think it's the perfect uh, sentiment for this card and this is where the idea came from. So don't forget that there is a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Now here is how it works and at the back you can still see the glue coming through as well as the white. Now uh, these uh, details like this on a card can drive me crazy so I just had to cut out all those images once more just out of a uh, black cardstock and I'm going to stick them at the back so that I can cover up all the white and the glue. Everything is going to look nice and neat at the end. By the way, did you know that we don't celebrate Halloween in Greece? However, we do have the carnival season on February where we all get dressed up. Now, this year is a special year for us since we are visiting our very dear friends in Sweden and we are going to celebrate Halloween there. So now I am going to stamp the sentiment. And just like I told you, I am going for the sentiment that says no tricks, just treats. And uh, since I want to stamp half of it on the front and uh, half of it on the inside, I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the stamp. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment with white ink. In the beginning, I was planning to do white embossing and then I realized that I had a window and acetate on my card. When you have acetate, stay away from your heat gun, it's so easy to melt it and you will ruin hours of work. 
So now I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the front. I'm going to stamp it two or three times just to get a nice impression and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the inside. Also don't forget that uh, this ink is very wet and um, it takes a lot of time to dry. So when you are manipulating the card, make sure that you don't uh, make a mess. So the inside is ready and now very carefully I'm going to take off the card from my Misty making sure that I don't touch the sentiment, it's still wet, and uh, with my gel pen I'm going to make three dots before the just treats, and three dots on the front after the sentiment that says no tricks, so that you know that uh, the sentiment continues on the inside. And that was the card for today, and I sure had a lot of fun while making it. I hope you had fun too, and don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching!